Okay, so this video is on calculating the current using charge. So this is part two. So um, let's see, if the current in a light bulb is 0 0.001 amps, how many coulombs of charge pass out of the bulb in 30 minutes? Well, the formula that we're going to use is that the current is equal to the charge divided by the time, the amount of time it passes by. So, uh, here I'm going to draw a circuit to represent it. So here we have a power supply and this is going to be my light bulb. There we go. Now here in this problem, uh, so we have a current that's flowing through this light bulb and the current is equal to 0 0.001 amps and it's going to be passing through here for 30 minutes. So I, what we want to find out is uh, well, how many coulombs are going through here? Well, coulombs are in seconds, so we're going to have to convert uh, for minutes. So, uh, let's see, 30 minutes. And let's see, so we're going to convert minutes into seconds. So there is 60 seconds in one minute. So the minutes cancel. And we're going to multiply 30 times 60, which is 1,800 seconds. Now let's see, so now we can use a formula which is uh, the current is equal to the charge divided by the time. We have to manipulate this because we already know the current and we already know the time but we don't know the charge so we're going to say that the charge is equal to the current times the multiplied by the time. And so the current is equal to 0 0.001 amps multiplied by the time which is 1800 seconds and so this is going to be the charge or not yeah the charge uh, excuse me is equal to 1.8 coulombs and that's how you solve this problem so let's go to the next one well uh, what does this mean it means that uh, uh, sorry, so here we wanted to figure out how many coulombs of charge are passing the, the bulb in 30 minutes. And so what we figured out is that uh, in 30 minutes, uh, with this amount of current, that you have this much uh, uh, charge going through it. So there you go. Now next one. How many coulombs of charge are produced by 150 by a 150 amp solar panel in one hour? Again, we have to convert the hours into seconds. So let's do that first. Uh, whoops, what's going on? So here we have, uh, what is it, one hour. So one hour times, now we're going to convert to minutes. So 60 minutes in one hour. The hours will cancel. But now I need to convert it into seconds. So there's 60 seconds in one minute. Now the minutes cancel, and we're just going to left with 60 times 60. Which is going to be equal to three hundred or three thousand six hundred, um, and now we're going to put it back into. We're going to use this formula, which is the current is equal to the charge divided by the time, and we're going to manipulate this one in order to solve for the charge. So the charge is equal to the current times the time, uh, and so. The charge is going to be equal to the current, which in this situation it's 150 amps. 150 amps, which is a lot for a solar panel. Uh, multiplied by the time, which is 360 seconds. So times 3,600 seconds. Yeah, I know I said 360. It's 3,600. Sorry about that. So 150 times 3,600 and that's going to be equal to uh, 54, uh, so 540,000 coulombs. That's the answer to that one. Uh, and, and an easy way to do this is you're just going to say, oh well, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like saying 1.5 times 36. and so 1 times 36 would be just 36, and then the 0.5 is just half of 36, which would be 18. So you just add the 18 to 36, and that would be your 54, and then just 
uh, and then you just count the, the decimal places you have to move it over. So let's go to number three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So now a lightning bolt hits a building, injecting a certain amount of charge. The bolt has 100,000 amps and lasts 20 milliseconds. How much charge does the building absorb? So again, this is uh, exactly the same as the previous problem. So we're going to use the formula of the current is equal to the charge divided by the time. Uh, in this situation, we have that the current is equal to, uh, well, it's uh, 100,000 amps, which it's uh, which lightning bolts can be that, actually. Uh, in 20 milliseconds, that's lasting kind of long. Uh, some of them only last microseconds, so. So let's see in here, uh, the time is equal to 20 milliseconds. So again, we're going to manipulate this, and we're going to say that the charge is equal to the current times the time. So you're going to put down 100,000 times 0 0.02 seconds. That's milli, so you just move over the decimal place three places. So 1, 2, and 3. So you have a 0 here. Okay, so the charge is going to be equal to 2,000 coulombs. And that's how you solve that one. Okay, so I, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it made sense. And uh, good luck in your classes.